The UPSC CSE Arena is an ever-evolving space where staying up to date becomes as crucial as maintaining a thorough preparation with strategic planning and holistic coverage for exam syllabus vision is delhi presents gs foundation course avail analysis and integration of current affairs with gs syllabus all india test series with an innovative assessment system inculcating post test analysis discussion all india ranking and more explore the holistic learning modules intrinsically designed for the ideal aspirant Nobel Prize in Chemistry was given to three scientists. Half of the prize was given to David Becker, received half for his work on computational protein design, and Demis Hassabis and John Chumper from Google DeepMind, who received the other half for their breakthrough in protein structure prediction. So coming back to again what we discussed in the very first topic, the role of protein. And as I said in the very first topic, that proteins are very complex molecules. There are a group of molecules, we call them amino acids. Amino acids ka jo functional group hai wo NH2 hai. Har amino acid mein NH2 hoga. Now we can have many type of amino acids, but all the proteins which are made inside living organism, they are only made of 20 specific amino acids. That was the earlier slide for. These are the 20 amino acids. Just this is a particular amino acid, we call it proline. This is an amino acid, we call it valine. And now, you can see that this molecular structure is not very complex. This molecular structure is not very complex. NH2, 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 that NH2 as a functional group, that is very essential in all the amino acids. And the structure of one amino acid per se is not very difficult. Some of them here are dashed, some of them here are not dashed, they are solid. It's a simple reason that these dashed amino acids are essential for essential human beings. We say essential for the fact that as many proteins, your body will make thousands of types of proteins. But all of those proteins are made of these 20 amino acids. Your body knows how to produce 11 of them. So, your body naturally makes 11. But 9 amino acids your body cannot produce. For that, you have to eat protein from outside. Other organisms make those nine amino acids and proteins based on those nine amino acids. So when you eat a protein, protein-rich food, you eat some chicken or paneer or some lentil, then when you eat that protein-rich food, then your body takes out the amino acid first and then using those amino acids can make many other type of protein. So those amino acids which you have to eat from outside, for human beings, we call them essential amino acid, which also tells you that this essential word is can differ from species to species. There can be species in which essential amino acid kuch aur hoga, hamari essential amino acid kuch aur hai. So, but when we use this word essential, we as we are inherently assuming that we are talking about human beings here. That is the some of them are dashed and some of them are solid uh, circles here, right? So these are the twenty amino acids, and these twenty amino acids make all of those thousands of types of protein which we know. But this is not, the protein structure is not very simple. 
The protein structure is one of the most complex structure we know of. Protein synthesis happens into multiple stages. Amino acids first arrange themselves in some sort of pearl-like structure. Think of a necklace and think of all of these individual amino acids as this pearl of this necklace. So they are arranged in this linear fashion. Some sort of helical structure, some sheet structure is formed which is called secondary protein structure. Some 3D folding starts happening which is called tertiary protein structure. But the final structure of protein is this very complex folded structure in three dimension. And that complex folding in three dimension is actually what determines that what is the purpose and what is the function of that protein. So that is the starting point before I go into explaining what this Nobel Prize in Chemistry was. This is the starting point. The first starting point I already discussed in the first topic that what is the role of protein and I mentioned that proteins do so many different things in our body. And I also mentioned that proteins are very complex molecules, right? But all proteins which our body can make or which living organisms can make, not just human beings, they are made of this 20 amino acids. And final structure of protein is very complex. एक सिंपल सा स्ट्रक्चर है बहुत सारे प्रोटीन ऐसे हैं कि आपको ये लिखने में एक दो घंटे लग जाएंगे दे आर सो कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड आप ऐसे कंप्यूटर डिजाइन उनका थ्री कंप्यूटर थ्री स्ट्रक्चर देख सकते हो बट आप पेंसिल से तो नहीं बना सकते उनका जो थ्री स्ट्रक्चर है सो दिस हैपन्स इन टू मल्टीपल स्टेजेस द फाइनल स्टेज विच वी कॉल प्रोटीन फोल्डिंग दैट थ्री स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन दैट इज वॉट डिटर्मिन्स द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ प्रोटीन now one of the open question in biology has been that if i give you the initial amino acid if i give you this chain ye humne aapko de diya hai and can you come from here to here can you predict that if this is given then can you predict that what will be this and scientists discover protein every year new proteins every year but this protein structure is not made uh, uh, to public immediately. Almost every year or a few years, a competition happens. And in this competition, the best of the minds are, they participate. And in this competition, this is given to all of the participants, participants. And they're asked to determine that what will be the final structure, which is not known to anybody. Ye kafi saalo se competition chal rahe. In 2020, a remarkable thing happened. A team was able to make this 3D folded protein structure with about 90% accuracy. And before 2020, the best, second best was about 30 or 40% accuracy. So what this team did is, they used that artificial neural network which we discussed in the previous topic. That they use artificial intelligence, deep mind, Google ka ek famous AI project hai. Branch that is called deep mind and deep mind has made many ai tools one of that is alpha fold another is alpha go alpha go is very popular for learning strategy games such as chess or go uh just abhi jo sabse smart player jo mane jate world mein magnus carlson hai. when magnus carlson so google few years ago made two alpha go programs play chess to each other and chess may be it is also a game chill right to boss are the popular strategies and well established and nobody up players and go Sarah strategy Sarah game you are there when people like Magnus Carlsen and all the great chess players saw alpha go playing chess they were simply blown away because the strategy it adopted to play to each other it was entirely unique it started with all of those things so for example how chess as a game has evolved how great players evolved their strategy you can see through ages that how people who played in 1900, what type of strategy they adopted, people who played in 1930, 1950, 70, 80, and then strategies became more elaborate, more grand, better and better strategies came into existence. That Alpha Go was able, it did exactly in the same progression, but 1900 to 2020 progress, it was able to do that in like matter of few hours. And then after that, it started using strategies, which was not known to any of the great chess players 
in the world and they were simply blown away and they have in fact reinvented their game including magnus carlsen with help of alpha go and this another deep mind ka jo dusra ek jo project hai wo hai alpha fold and alpha fold was used by that team who made that 90% accuracy in protein structure that they were able to predict the structure of the protein and that is the second part that three scientists and the team which actually was part of this first part of this deep mind who made that protein folding accuracy up to 90% so they received nobel prize in chemistry uh, half of the prize but other half was given to another great scientist david baker david baker designed a software that how can i make a protein from starting point forget about the natural proteins ability to design completely new proteins that do not exist in nature he made a software which can do that which can tell you the structure of the protein based on a specific requirements you take amino acids you take a protein make all of the amino acids what it is you first take out all the amino acids out of it and then you make possible permutations and combinations that how many different type of proteins can be made and for what purpose this particular protein can be used he was able to do that with a software he designed the software is called rosetta i have given a link here you can download the software so you can download this and you can see and you can contribute and you can participate in this entire thing there is this option of downloading the software you can do everything and you of course have to learn how to use it you need to have like very good knowledge of both biology and computer programming many things to uh, learn how to utilize it but for this david baker was given half of the prize and the second half predicting the 3d structure of protein from their their amino acid sequence using this ai model alpha fold and i should tell you the latest news the news is from last six month that google has now this third variant of alpha fold it is calling alpha fold 3 alpha fold 2 already had achieved an accuracy of about 99% in protein structure and alpha fold 3 is able to as per google it should be able to do this prediction with 100% accuracy and you can go to alpha fold server also this is also available you can go and read more about alpha fold there are tutorials here these tutorials will tell you how to utilize this how to utilize alpha fold server what are they trying to do again same thing you need to be good at computational biology to utilize alpha fold server so for this nobel prize in chemistry was given and this is by the way remarkable i already have told you that proteins do so many things in our body proteins are antibodies proteins are hormones proteins are enzymes proteins are your muscle that work out job karte ho so there are so many different type of proteins and because of that the potential to find a new protein or to predict the structure of a protein from amino acid which can allow us to make new protein has tremendous applications in medicine development that we can have many type of medicines in biotechnology there are applications solving some major environmental problems such as let's say plastic finding some protein which can degrade plastic right or finding some applications in in energy storage so there are ye maine bas khali do teen word yahan pe mention kar rakha hai but ye jo protein folding problem solve karne ka matlab hai that there are some great applications in different domains so as of now jo alpha fold 2 ka jo prediction tha that was as accurate as other methods to determine the structure of protein so abhi agar humko protein structure karna ho determine so we use methods like x ray crystallography or there are other techniques and alpha fold is as good as that but then to make a new protein from amino acid to predict this with 100% accuracy with help of computational method this is just remarkable how they did that that in itself is also quite amazing they did not go one step one step ahead like aisa nahi ki step by step ye progress hua hai they utilized certain principles ki jab final protein banta hai to uska energy minimum hota hai 
they utilized certain principles in physics and then they wrote a program where we can minimize energy with help of statistical distribution involving like millions of variables and they were able to determine the final structure with such high accuracy so this has been a remarkable development and nobel committee recognized this so that is why i said earlier that these three nobel prizes have some sort of interconnection in this case micro rna plays a very important role in gene regulation gene regulation gene uh, expression and that gene expression is what leads to protein production and then an ai tool which can predict the protein structure from amino acid nobel prize in chemistry but for the first ai for the first artificial neural network designed by these two scientists none of them are physicists both of them are not physicists but they received nobel prize in physics for that this year so this concludes our discussion about nobel prizes if you have any question anywhere you can ask questions if you have any question you can always send me a mail when this video will be uploaded on youtube this slide will also be there